Hey everybody, welcome back to 90 and Out. I'm your host, Timothy Holtz, and this channel is all about looking at the Christian Bible. Right now we're going through a series on the speeches of Jesus of Nazareth. We just concluded our in-depth look on the Sermon on the Plain, the second speech given by Jesus, chronologically speaking, as recorded by the four Gospel writers. Uh, the first one being the Sermon on the Mount. You can check out the playlist for the Sermon on the Mount, my look at that broken down into small segments, and you can check out my take on the Sermon on the Plain, also in a playlist. If you like, if you just want the speeches themselves, I have that playlist listed as the speeches of Jesus. So right now we're going to go to the next uh, dissertation that Jesus provides. It's at night with a man named Nicodemus, and it's found in John chapter 3. story before I get into the actual speech in this case. In the year 27 AD, which this is recorded taking place, there's no electricity. Um, so meetings at night, the third shift, not a common thing. And this guy named Nicodemus, who is a Pharisee, meets Jesus at night. Um, most likely that's in secret. So we'll get into that in the part two where we break down the speech itself. But that's a little back history, back um, context. That's the word I'm looking for. That's a little context. So let's get right to it, shall we? The words of Jesus to a guy named Nicodemus. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Most assuredly, I say unto you, unless one is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly, I say unto you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven but he who came down from heaven. That is the Son of Man who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is already condemned. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come into the light, lest his deeds be exposed. But he who does the truth comes into the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. That is arguably one of the most well-known speeches of Jesus of Nazareth. And in part two, we're going to break down what he's talking about there to this guy named Nicodemus. So I hope you stay tuned for that next week. And uh, as always, 
This is Timothy Holt with 90 and out. May God richly bless you.